Hi guys, this is Robert Clark from OmniTechNews.net. Today we're going to be taking a first look at the Kindle 3.1 software update. So we actually have the Kindle update preview on this as the uh, 3.1 Kindle update isn't fully supported and it hasn't been pushed out to all the Kindles out there. But in a couple of days, you know, it's only a matter of time now before um, Amazon pushed this update out globally, but they have allowed a preview build so everyone can try it out. So if we go into settings, you can see at the very bottom of the Kindle, it does say version 3.1. And uh, this comes with a variety of new features. The first and probably the biggest of these new features is actual page numbers in the eBooks. Now, in the physical books, you obviously have page numbers, but on the Amazon counterparts, you've been getting, uh, like, uh, they're called location numbers, Amazon location numbers, and uh, not many people have embraced these very well. For example, in book clubs, people need to know the pages, the like, the exact pages. So now, if, if you're in, this is, like, the regular page, so I'm just reading a book called Unbroken, and 5% of the way through this, it doesn't actually display the location automatically anymore. But if I click menu, it will show the page number from the physical book and also the location number as well. So if you have embraced the new Amazon method, you can also use that, right, which is right here when you click menu. I think Amazon did a really good job with this because they made it more minimalist and less distracting, having random like numbers basically on the bottom of the screen. The location numbers were very random in my experiences. They don't really make a lot of sense. I don't really know how they really work. But now all you've got is a percent, uh, you know, status right at the very bottom left, and you've also got the timeline, which has little dots for bookmarks and notes and stuff like that. This brings me to the next feature, which is public notes. Now you can share your updates or from like notes if you add a note to a, a book uh, where you're reading. Um, you can now share this online. So for, I've just created a new note and now I've got a new option, option, save and share. So I just click that. Now this has been um, shared with my Twitter but also on the new like Kindle account, like online thing. So if you go to uh, kindle.amazon.com you can um, see all my messages and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. You can also follow people and see what their notes are and what they think of the books, which brings me to the next feature, which is the rate and review at the very end of the book. So I've just finished a book called To Build a Fire by Jack London, and now when I click to the next page, which there isn't, but if I click the uh, next button, you see it now says you've finished. Before you go, you can tweet, share. You can just simply rate the book, and uh, you, it will also show you other relevant books based on this book that you've read and, and you know uh, more by the author that, of the book you've just read so now I can just rate the book then save and share this rating really quickly this takes me like a couple seconds then I've got a message and then this will share on Twitter now so just hit share then that's shared on my Twitter and it's also put the update on the kindle.amazon.com account. The last feature of the 3.1 update is the better viewing of magazines and newspapers. This is PC Magazine for January 1st and now I can view sections and articles directly at the beginning of the magazine so I can just quickly skim and see all the you know cool things that are in the magazine so for example the first looks uh, we've got you know an Apple MacBook Air review, we've got the XPS 15, the Chrome 8, and some of those I might want to read but others I don't so I can just go down then find the one I want and then click on it to look at it. Then also uh, at the very beginning it's got a nicer cover, it gives you an overview of all the articles which is uh, really nice. So overall, it's a pretty cool new update, the 3.1 update. Uh, if you're interested in the preview, there will be a link in the description to go and download it. OmniTech News did do a post or the news event of when this was uh, re released. It will be going public soon, so if you want to just wait for the official stable build, this is pretty stable, I found. I've been using it for a couple of days now. But if you like the more stable build, you know, want to wait for it, if you don't want to risk it, then uh, just wait for it to be pushed out publicly. This has been Robert Clark from OmniTech News. Donut, thanks for watching.